I have verified her breathing. Thank goodness. We made it in time. It's Sari. I was so scared. I thought she might be dead. Conscience would come calling if we let her die, wouldn't it? <sighs> Welcome to this place, my friends. You were in Tra. Hmm? Have we met somewhere before, then? If that is indeed the case, then what a truly delightful occurrence this is. You must have been brought here by our humble efforts to make Asmodeus's magnificence known throughout the land. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Come, and let us offer our prayers to Asmodeus. We shall witness his resurrection together. And together, we shall be destroyed so that a new world may be born. We're not here to worship Asmodeus. We're here to get our friend. Friend? Ah, you must mean the lovely young feather folk. You are free to worship whatever god, whatever archfiend you please. But only after you've righted your wrongs. I must confess, I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. We're already aware that you were deliberately spreading the stone sickness in order to foment unrest. Hmm. But I ask you, where exactly is the sin in that? What? The world is slowly but surely heading on the path to destruction. Our activities merely serve to help it along toward its ultimate destiny. Your friend shall have the honor of becoming that world's cornerstone. Why will you, her friend, not rejoice in the honor she has been granted? I do not understand you. Nonsense! The destruction of the world? Give me a break! That's not what Sarah wants! My, my. You speak foolishness, my son. That is exactly what she wants. I know it to be true. Yes, I know very well. <laughs> Even if she may not, I know it. Mr. Edge, what is this man? What is this creature that stands before us? Taking this form allowed me to truly understand. The appetite of human beings is insatiable. Humans are never satisfied with what they have for very long. They endlessly seek new and exotic pleasures. But the reality of this world is not conducive to supporting such an appetite. It has limits, you know. Thus, you see, I am unsatisfied. Land, glory, money, no matter how much I acquire. I'm afraid I've completely exhausted the world's resources of such things. But still I want more, more, more. Yes, even if my mortal body should decay and burn, just how insatiable the human appetite really is. You bastard. You miserable bastard. You'd kill Sarah for something so stupid? Everyone who lives on this planet? Your entire world? Resurrection, and we're getting Sarah back! 
Yes! Very well. For the sake of a glorious new world, I bestow upon thee destruction.
Isn't it wonderful when effort is rewarded? <laughs>